What's up comic collectors, it's Hero Hunter 81 and I'm here to respond to a tag. I've been tagged by uh, Lightning2288, Rich. Uh, he wants us all to show, well he, he wants us to show our 50 best books. Um, I chose 52 and I just want to say um, thanks to Rich. He's one of the, I think him and James are the only people that I actually talk to outside of YouTube and I consider them friends um, and I just want to say thanks I love tag videos like this I love showing off my my favorite books and uh, congrats on all your subs man you're gonna get you're gonna be way past me uh, soon enough but first off I want to say uh, rest in peace to my grandmother she just passed away today and the books you see in front of you these are mini comics and she got these for me these are the first comic books I ever owned or read and uh, they came in like a cake thing or like a cookie or Drake's cake something like that and so basically if she wouldn't have gave me these I would have never probably never got into co collecting comics and reading them and all that good stuff so thank you granny and uh, this book here I went and got this book afterwards right at my drugstore down the street this is the first book I ever owned first actual comic book uh, I don't remember much about the story I think but this really um, I used to collect Ghost Rider other stuff in there I had a friend he would collect Spawn and, you know, we'd play Super Nintendo, and then we'd go get some candy and comics and sodas and ride bikes, all that craziness. But anyway, let's, uh, you know what, let's just get to it. So, first book, first off the bat, Luke Cage, Hero for Hire 1. Uh, this is one of my favorite Bronze Age books, hands down. I really, like don't ever want to get rid of this book I've sold books that are worth more than this and I can't I can't get rid of this one I would uh, I would like to upgrade but this is in good enough shape for me it's really uh but this book has so much going for it you know it's the first um, black superhero with his own title you know Black Panther came before this but this uh, first time he actually got his own title. It's also a number one issue. It's also his first appearance and origin. It's just got all those things going for it. Uh, beautiful cover. Um, who doesn't like some dice with some girls on there? <laughs> but to go along with that, I got this. Marvel Premiere 15, first appearance of Iron Fist. This book should have been in my collection a long time ago. You know, I was late on it. Um, yeah, but definitely really happy to own this. Uh, what else we got here? San Diego Comic Con Comics 2. Uh, this is the first, considered the first appearance of Hellboy because it... It's the first uh, story with him in it, but it's in black and white. Uh, now, Next Men 21 is his first color appearance. Um, that comes after this. and But there's one that comes before this. It's called Dime Press 4, and that's it has Hellboy on the cover only. It's an Italian fanzine magazine. It's all in Italian, but on the cover it says Mignola at the bottom, and it says Hellboy. Uh, so I don't consider it a prototype. I mean, I don't know if it's a, I mean, what our first appearance is, you know, I figure it's the first time the character's introduced in a story and all that, so. But, there's also um, a Mignola, something, there's also a Hellboy thing that predates all of that. It's extremely hard to find, and I'm on the hunt for it. But the, it it doesn't look like Hellboy at all. It's a drawing. I wish I had more info, but um, that Dime Press Four is actually 
I don't consider that a prototype because it has the character's name on the cover, you know? And it looks like the character. I mean, that's what he looks like. I can. I think prototypes are like characters that aren't named yet that kind of look like them. You can tell what they were going for, but I don't know. Let me stop rambling about this. Oh, one more thing about this. the This book... It seems like the dime press fetches more money than this one, but this has a lower print run. Uh, this book was free at one time. <laughs> uh, this is the first appearance of The Watchmen and the first appearance of Dark Knight. So you get both of those in one here. Really happy to own this book. Also, I just upgraded this one here. This is Malibu Sun 13. Uh, a lot of people say this is the first appearance of Spawn. Um, now there was, there's just the book that surfaced recently um, called Rust, and they're trying to say it predates this. But it's just got one picture of Spawn. It's actually the cover for Spawn issue number two, and it's all in black and white. But they're trying to say that that you know predates it predates it but I don't want I wouldn't consider that a first appearance this is just a bunch of pictures uh, love spawn in it there's no story in this but the reason I got this is because I already have the same same exact well not exact but the reason I got this is because when you flip it over on the back let me show you It's, this is the rare uh, negative uh, error copy. Uh, these are really hard to find. Um, and this is the green one too. I upgraded, I'm probably going to get rid of this one. But they're extremely hard to find. I think it's probably the hardest spawn book that I've searched for. The hardest one to find. For me personally, I don't know... Everybody has their own opinion, but I search all the time, and this seems like the hardest spawn book for me to get. Uh, yeah. Primer 2, first appearance of Grendel. Um, yeah, Matt Wagner. They don't make a... I love stuff like this. Uh, it's just different, you know? Um, the comic almost looks like, I don't know, but they, they got rid of Comico Comics. Um, the company, uh, doesn't exist anymore, but Grendel, awesome character. Sorry, uh, let's see. I'm going to throw some graded ones in here too, every now and then. Eminem Punisher, uh, I like him. I like Eminem, and this is his first appearance in comic books. I guess it was like a double XL like giveaway or something. I don't know if it came with the magazine. I'm not sure how this was distributed. <coughs> All I know is I'm happy to have one. Very happy. Uh, Submariner number one. This is the first comic. I actually got this for free. Uh, this was the first contest I ever won on YouTube. So, definitely happy to own this. It's not perfect, but it was free, okay? And But the guy, he, uh, he was more into sports cards. There was a sports card prize and a comic prize. I chose the comic prize and he sent me this. Um, also another book I got for free, very lucky. You know, you win some, you lose some. I've overpaid for comics, too, so it's, it all balances itself out. But my friend's dad uh, found a box of comics, and they called, he called me over to help him go through, and I pulled out this, and I said, here's your gem. And then I was bugging him after that to buy it from him. And uh, he finally just said, you know what, your birthday is coming up here. For free, have it. He could saw he saw how much I wanted this book, but uh, 
we usually do stuff for you know we're like brothers so you know what let's uh i'm gonna switch it up we're gonna go to graded's graded books all right man let's do this tomb of dracula number one uh eight and a half Neil Adams cover on here. Uh, Gene Colon art on the inside, but man, Neil Adams cover. You can't go wrong. Oh, man, he was on fire in the 70s. <laughs> 60s, 70s, but. <clears throat> Got some more Grendel action for you guys. Grendel one, eight and a half. Matt Wagner story cover and art. That man damn near built the comic himself. <laughs> he built it. Probably put the staples in too. Um, it says Origin of Hunter Rose. It says Indica or Indicia indicates title is Scrog Volume 1, Number 1. Now, you know what? I, I remember this from somewhere, but... Of course, I forget now, but can somebody tell me what this scrog and all that is? I think it's just has something to do with the title and all that. But this actually um, sometimes fetches more money than uh, Primer Two, and I think that's good. This has a slightly lower print run. So anyway. Coming up is a comic that I sent in to get graded myself. It's Spawn Black and White 9.4. Uh, one of my favorite covers. I mean, I wish I could just hang this up, you know, um, hang it on the wall, blow it up. But just look at that pose, man. He's just like, in the black and the white, really. This is 1997 here. Um, it's all black and white on the interior also. What else we got? Just going back and forth. Incredible Hulk 8.0, 377. This is a third printing. And love this cover. Just an awesome cover. But this is the rare third printing. It's just weird. I don't know the full story behind it, but they came out with this printing years years after the second print. It was just it's really strange. It's weird for them to come out with another printing. I'm not exactly sure why they did, but this is really hard to find. Uh, I didn't pay crazy price for this either. I forget though. But if you guys see that in the back issue bin, you scored big. Uh, what else we got? You know what? Here. Marvel Spotlight 5. First appearance of Ghost Rider. Um, the Flaming Skull Ghost Rider. Uh, there's also a Silver Age Ghost Rider. Carter Slade. He rides the, the horse. He's all white. The horse is white. And there's also a Golden Age Ghost Rider, which is really hard to find. Um, if you guys find that, grab it. And Spider-Man 300. This is the issue that got me back into collecting. You know, I got into it. I fell off. And this, I was driving by and saw a comic store one day and stopped in. Uh, and I bought this. Uh, and I've been like seriously addicted ever since and I need help so all right next the goon number one this is the avatar goon this is the hard one to find here uh, this is his actual first appearance they were supposed to do like a movie a long while back but scratch that I love this book I, I would love to upgrade this thing um, really, I, w I just want a high grade copy of this. I need to upgrade, but this book is really hard to find. I think they printed like 2000, but Eric Powell, really love that. Love 
on that cover. What else we got here? You know what? Yep. This is one of my favorite books too, Superman's Pal. Uh, the first appearance of Dark Seed. Uh, really, like, I think this is a Neil Adams cover too, and I just love the color scheme on this cover. I love the, the background here. It's like a grayish, like a bluish gray. I just like that. And the Jimmy Olsen just pops off the cover. But they only showed Dark Seed um, in a little picture in the back, but they consider this his first appearance. This is the money book, they say. Um, yeah. Really happy to have this. It's gonna stay in the collection. You know, let's just bounce back and forth. There's some more graded ones. Just picked this up recently. 7.0, All-Star Western, first appearance of Jonah Hex. Uh, yeah, just good Brian's Age key to own. If you guys ever see this, pick it up. Uh, the movie kind of bombed, but what are you gonna do? It's still a good book. All right, Tomb of Dracula, number 10, eight and a half. First appearance of Blade, uh, Marv Wolfman story, Gene Colan art. Um, yeah, this was one of the first, uh, I think this was the second graded book I ever bought <coughs> online. Yeah. Ugh. Really happy to have this book. And the hottest book on the planet. No, I'm just kidding. 9.4, new stand copy, New Mutants 98, print run three and a half million, I think. I'm just kidding. Really happy to have this book. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Rob Liefeld, uh, but yeah, I don't think this is the first actual appearance of Domino, I think it's a fake Domino, copycat, yes, Vanessa Carlisle, I can't wait to see that Deadpool movie though, I hope it's like funny, you know, but like, I, I just hope it's good. All right, what, you know, let's go like this. Boom! One of my favorite books here, Conan the Barbarian. Number one, first appearance of Conan. Really happy. I mean, I would like to upgrade this book too. I mean, who wouldn't? Every, who wouldn't like to, I'd like to upgrade every book I own, but. I know, but this cover, man. I mean, look at it. I think this book is undervalued, honestly. I mean, you could pick you could pick this up for a decent price, I'm pretty sure. All right. What else we got? Captain America 100. Basically, Captain America 1 for the Silver Age. Uh, it was Tales of Suspense ran until issue 99 with Iron Man and the Cap, and they both split up and had their own titles. And let me tell you, I really am looking for a copy of Iron Man number one. Uh, I'd really love to have one of them. But I'm really happy to own this. Well, you know what? Just keep stocking them up. Spider-Man 1, this is the Platinum variant. Very happy to have this. This is printed on like a thick cardboard stock. So you got to be careful opening these. I mean, if you open it too wide or something, the spine will split on it. It hasn't happened on this, but I don't know, I'm really careful. This also has a letter 
uh, to the retailer inside of it, which I thought was a cool bonus. I picked this up at a, it was a small comic show. Um, I think I paid 75 bucks for it, but it's like flawless. Really nice. These are, I don't know, some of these are mixed up in here. Uh, Walking Dead 19, first appearance of Michonne. Happy to have this book. Uh, Hulk 102, basically Hulk number one for the Silver Age. Same thing here, it was like Tales to Astonish. Uh, Hulk was in it and he broke it off and gave him his own title. I'm not sure if him and Submariner was in that. Yeah, yeah, and then you had Nick Fury and Doctor Strange in the Strange Tales. They broke off on their own thing. They did a lot of that. Um, Doom Patrol 99, first appearance of Beast Boy. I don't know, this book grew on me. I, I really like this book. The cover, uh, just a cool character. He can turn into all kinds of animals, but I just really like this book. There's something about it. Uh, man, I got a lot of books here. I, this is, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, I'm not even, maybe I gotta speed it up. Uh, Werewolf by Night, 32. First appearance of Moon Knight. What actually one of my favorite books. This this thing, uh I actually bought this from my comic shop and they had it graded as an eight and it I think it's it's really nice. I mean it's there's like almost no surface wear. I don't know. It's really nice. Just picked this up, Evil Ernie, number one, first appearance of Evil Ernie, and Lady Death. Uh, coming up, probably my favorite Batman cover, one of my favorites definitely, Batman 227. Uh, Neil Adams, homage cover to Detective Comics 31. And I see I, ETA Nick has a copy of Detective Comics 31, and unbelievable, man. I can't believe he's got that. So jealous. Oh, so gotta love the Bronze Age. They were trying all kinds of stuff. Night Nurse number one, first appearance of Linda Carter. Um, there is a goal, uh, an older version, though. There is a Linda Carter before this, but this is the Bronze Age one. Uh, these are hard to find. All right, here's that um, here's that dime press I was telling you guys about nine six. Uh, first appearance of Hellboy. See how he's like, like that's Hellboy, and then it says it right. Where does it say? Here it is on the left. It says Hellboy Magnola ninety three. So, yep. Happy to own that. Oh. What else we got here? Okay, okay. Let's just keep it going. Oh. This is probably one of my, this is one of my favorite covers here. Uh, Stuff of Legend. This is the Boogeyman Edition. First print. This is number 66 out of 100 copies. Only 100 made. But, really love this book. I love this just look at that cover. It says it all. Uh, glad I picked this up. Fantastic Four, 52. First appearance of Black Panther. Really happy to own that book. Um, what else we got? Hard to find book here. Uh, DC Love Stories. Number five, it's uh, just a really hard to find uh, Bronze Age. This was on the top 10 Bronze Age books in the Overstreet Guide. Yes, yes, 
Let's see what I have. Here's an extremely hard book to find too. Rifleman 10, uh, infamous log cover, but this is high grade. I mean, I'm just happy to own one, but in the condition it's in, I'm, I'm really, really happy. I don't think I'll need to upgrade this. I'm not, there's not much more you can expect from a book this old, you know? Um, what else I got here? You know what, let me just throw a magazine up here. Savage Tales number one. This book has a bunch of stuff going for it too. Uh, it's a number one issue, Savage Tales number one. Um, it's the first cro uh, Conan the Barbarian crossover. It's the first book Conan was in besides his own. And it's also the first appearance of Man-Thing. So, definitely a good book to own. What else we got here? Another magazine. Really happy to own this. Vampirella number one. First appearance of Vampirella. Uh, really, really hard book to find here too. GI Combat 87, first appearance of the Haunted Tank. Really happy to own that. Tough book to find. Here's another tough book. You guys just saw this Atomic War 1. Really tough book to find. Um, that's what I like, man. I just like going after those books that, you know, I, I try. You know, it, it makes it worth it, you know. When you look at it, you're like, wow, I can't believe I own that thing. Just like this, Strange Tales. Like, this also, like, um, the staples are attached. It's complete. Just like this, same thing. Staples attached, complete. This is a super hard to find robot cover. You guys already saw that. I don't want to bore you. Um, one of my favorite books here, Spider-Man 129. First appearance of The Punisher. And Rich, he was wondering what's up with this book. I think it's, um, I don't know if it has something to do with the Daredevil show and Frank Castle. There might be some kind of spinoff or he might be like coming on the show. Something's going on. I heard somebody talking about him and a TV show recently. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's, that's what you're, you want to know. All right. Oh, Wow. This is a really nice copy too. Um, House of Secrets, 92, first appearance of Swamp Thing. Really nice condition. Really nice. Uh, what do we got here? Green Lantern, 76. Um, basically the book that started the Bronze Age. Just like they say, uh, Showcase 2 uh, was the book that started the Silver with the Flash. Let's do a couple more graded. One of my favorite books I own. This is Bone Number One, first print, 8.0. Really tough book to find. Uh, Jeff Smith Art. I think they printed like 2,000 of these. But the first prints are really hard to find. Love that. Love the cover. Uh, what else we got here? Iron Man 55, eight and a half. This book, I mean, one of the hottest books out right now, but this book has a lot going for it, man. It's got like five first appearances. First appearance of Thanos, Mentor. First appearance of Drax the Destroyer. First appearance of Star Fox, Kronos, Blood Brothers. Just awesome. Like... <laughs> This was the first graded book I ever bought online. I think I, I paid like 225 for this. Um, it was right before the hype. Uh, who knows? It was my first ever online purchase too. I, I bet I could have found a cheaper one than that at the time, but I didn't really know what I was, what things were worth, what I was doing. I learned a lot since then, but all right, what else we got? Sorry guys.
Giant Size X-Men number one. First appearance of Colossus Storm Nightcrawler. I'm pretty sure it's the second appearance of Wolverine. Uh, I just saw a Mercenot video. He was showing, um, man, some kind of magazine where it like predates this one. And it's got Wolverine on it. I thought that was cool as hell. Uh, but and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure he has giant size X-Men too. So let's just let's just be happy we got these, and we'll say the, this is the second appearance. <laughs> uh, this book here, Strange Tales '89. This thing is complete. Staples are attached to all pages. It is one of my favorite books I own here. It is so hard to find in mid-grade and up. It, I mean, really hard to find these books. Uh, this was graded at a, let me show you. Yep, this was a four and a half when I got it. First appearance of Fin Fang Foom. Um, probably one of Iron Man's biggest villains. And I'm surprised, I mean, wouldn't that be crazy? If they showed him in, a, in one of these movies coming up because they showed some um, I think it was in the first Iron Man they had a, some like Easter eggs with him but, uh, super oh my goodness I can't believe I own this Albedo 2 this is the first appearance of Usagi Ojimbo uh, Rabbit Samurai so tough to get this book this book I mean so happy to own that book. <laughs> I think they printed 2,000 of them initially. And they never reprinted them, so who knows how many still out there. But a, he's a huge character uh, with, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really happy to own that book. Um, here's a book I just picked up recently. Probably one of my most valuable books. Uh, this is the Wolverine. Uh, number one, this is the J. Scott Campbell Deadpool, Wolverine Deadpool variant. Really hard to find these books. Uh, if you don't know, you had to send in 50 different types of covers. The re only retailers that were um, signed up with like Diamond Distributors could do it first. Then they had to take 50 different covers and send them all in. And get this so they had to damage a lot of comic books to get this book so there's definitely blood on my hands right now anyway and of course what would, what would it what would it be without Hulk 181 now I don't have two of them like uh, rich and mercenot but who knows maybe I'll maybe I'll go for two one day uh, this was great as seven and a half but I tell you this is the best looking seven and a half I've ever seen <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it, Rich, man. I hope you're happy. I hope, man, I can't wait. You know what? I didn't even think of who, who to ask. Oh, man. You know what? I'd like to see, now, you could do top 50 books, top whatever, top 10, top 20. I'd like to see a, a bunch of them. I'd like to see uh, Brian Wallribbon. I'd also like this tag, Comic High Jinx. Man, who else is there? Uh, Gene Paul Ace Peter. I'd like to tag Why Not Art, Tony. Um, man, who wouldn't want to see Captain Strange Life? Uh, <laughs> his top 10, but I, I mean, I hope he's doing well. I haven't seen a video from him lately. Uh, Rich already tagged a bunch of people that I want to see. Um, if you guys feel like doing a video please feel free i don't have anything written down i'm just shooting from the hip here uh yeah that's pretty much it so let me stop boring you guys i hope you enjoyed the video i was gonna come out with a rare comic video i think i still might do that but i'll, I'll wait on that so uh i don't know you guys have a great day hero hunter 81 out